hello guys welcome to the next video tutorial on android app development for beginners in this video we will see how to use date picker dialog in android so let's get started first of all i'm going to take a button and i'm going to change the text of this button as show date picker dialog and when i click this button the date picker dialog will appear and we will be able to select some date using this date time picker and we can uh, perform some action on the basis of this uh, day selected okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to my java folder and inside my java folder i'm going to go to my main activity.java and in here i'm going to declare first of all object of uh, button btn and then i'm going to declare three variables one for year one for month and one for the day of uh, the month so int year x month x month should be month like this and the day underscore x okay now one variable more i'm going to declare to hold the dialogue id of uh, our dialogue okay so i'm going to declare a static final int dialog id and i'm going to initialize this dialog id by zero okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go below a little bit and i'm going to declare a method which i will call inside my on create method so this uh, method will be a public method public void and i will name it as show dialog method okay and inside my method first of all i'm going to uh, cast my button so button which i have declared above is equal to button find view by id r dot id dot button okay now i'm going to take this button instance or object and i'm going to call set on click method so btn dot set on click listener and inside this we will call a new on click listener and inside this uh, on click method what we are going to do is we are going to call our show dialog uh, which is a inbuilt method in uh, you know android so let's little bit change this uh, method as show dialog on button click so that we will not be confused by this method which i'm going to uh, write now right now so show dialog and this takes the id of the dialog so we have declared the dialog id it should be dialog id so i will just copy this dialog id which we have declared and pass it here okay now what i'm going to do is i will uh, create or i will call uh, on create dialog method which is uh, in built method so i'm just going to just copy this override protected void on create just like this and just below i will go, uh, paste this and then on create dialog and then inside this on create dialog i'm going to write my code and i'm going to give one argument to this on create dialog which will be an integer id and if this integer or and this returns a dialog right so we have to return dialog here instead of void okay and now what i'm going to do is if this uh, id or uh, in on create dialog is equal to 
the dialog id which we have defined then i'm going to uh, return a new dialog okay so new uh, which dialog i'm going to return a new date picker dialog okay so date picker dialog and it takes few arguments and let's do alt enter so that it can fix our imports and it takes few argument first is the context second is the date picker listener or date picker yeah you can say listener and we are going to define our date picker listener later let's uh, give the name to this date picker listener as d picker listener for example okay and then the other argument it takes is year and then the month and then the day okay and if this id doesn't match our dialog id i'm going to return null okay so if the if the id doesn't matches i'm going to return a null okay and now what i'm going to do is here i'm going to declare this variable which is our date picker listener variable okay so i'm going to declare a private member private date picker dialog dot on date set listener and then this will be our date set listener is equal to new on date set listener and it's going to automatically create uh, this method for us when we enter press enter key and just don't remember to close this uh, variable here by semicolon and inside this you can see uh, i can see year it in the on date set method arguments are year month of the year and date of the month or day of the month okay so what i can do is i can assign so i have declared three variable year x month x and day x right so i can use uh, or I, i can assign the value of uh, year x is equal to this year which is uh, taken by this date picker dialog right in the same way i'm going to take the value of month x is equal to month of year and i'm going to take the value of day x is equal to day of the month okay and now what i can do is i can display this uh, year month and day using a toast or uh, something other like text box or edit text or something like this right i'm going to choose uh, toast so i'm going to take this toast dot make text and it takes uh, first argument as the class context or context of this uh, class itself so main activity dot this and the second argument is the text itself so i can pass year first plus and then slash then month and then plus slash once again and then plus day x so it's going to show me the day date comma the third argument toast dot length short duration dot show okay now what i can do is i can call this show dialog on button click method so just copy this show dialog which we have created just copy this uh, method 
and call it inside your on create method here okay and that's it our code is done so we can run it I'm going to run my program so my program is running now and I can see this button and when I click this button I will be able to see the date but the date here whenever you select the date it will not be the current date because we haven't set any date to our date picker dialog okay so what we can do is we can set date to our date picker dialog which is the current date uh, by using calendar class okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my code here and uh, remember I have declared year month and day variables right and if somehow I can pass the current uh, date to these three variables I will be able to see the current date in my date picker dialog okay so what you can do is you can go inside your on create method and in here you can create an instance of a calendar final calendar cal is equal to calendar dot get instance and then I can use this cal to uh, get the current year month and day okay so I'm going to take the year is equal to cal dot get and inside this I can take cal and I will go back I will take calendar this one dot year it's going to give me year and then in the same way I can pass month also so cal dot get and cal dot month not March but dot month and the third variable is day of the month so day is equal to and I'm going to just copy this and this should be dot day of month okay in addition you need to do one more little thing here whenever you print your uh, date using your toast you can uh, you know get this month but uh, by default month start from zero here okay so what you can do is you can add a one to your month here and it will give you uh, the correct month okay and now I'm going to run my program and my program is uh, once again running so I'm going to click this and you can see the current date and the year and the month is showing here today is 25th of March 2015 and I can see uh, and I can verify this date and then when I click OK I will be able to see this month date and year here okay so in this way you can use a date picker dialog in your Android app I hope you have enjoyed this video please write comment and subscribe and bye for